in this question the space between plates of a parallel plate capacitor is filled by a weakly conducting viscous fluid of resistivity rho and the dielectric constant is epsilon r i am taking dielectric constant as k so distance between the plates is d the capacitor is connected across an ideal battery of terminal voltage is v and a small conducting and almost a small conducting this is a small ball conducting and almost massless ball having a charge q not is released in the fluid force of viscous drag on the ball in the fluid is f is equal to some beta times v where v is the instantaneous velocity of the ball and beta is some factor if the ball stops before striking any of the plates so it is given that it is not striking any of the plates find the maximum distance the ball will move and uh, there is no gravity you have to take so the ball is released from here and jo uh, battery yahan pe this battery will due to this battery this capacitor plates are at a potential difference v and due to this potential difference v there will be electric field between the plates and this electric field due to due to Uh, the potential difference on the plates is this e is equal to v by d and due to this e is equal to v by d electric field uh, it will experience force in this direction because this plate is positive so this uh, charged ball will experience force in this direction which is q into e and it will gain some velocity it will gain some velocity and due to this velocity the force is uh, in the backward direction drag force so this is beta v and this is q e okay because this ball is conducting and the medium is also weakly conducting so charge on this ball will start leaking away from it the charge on this ball will start leaking away from it slowly okay so the charge is ke par wo charge is ke through yahan par medium ke through wo charge yahan pe leak karne lagega kyunki jo medium hai medium is given as conducting medium तो अगर मैं फोर्सेस यहाँ पे देखा तो फोर्सेस जैसे अगर इवॉल्व तो फोर्स इस पे जो लग रहे हैं फोर्स इज वन इज दिस क्यू ई एंड वन इज दिस बीटा वी और क्योंकि चार्ज यहाँ पे लीक कर रहा है तो किसी टाइम पे मैं एज्यूम कर लेता हूँ कि इसका चार्ज अगर वो चार्ज यहाँ पे क्यू है ठीक है तो चार्ज इनिशियली क्यू नॉट था किसी टाइम पे चार्ज अगर क्यू है यहाँ पे और इसकी जो वेलासिटी है वो इस डायरेक्शन में वी है अब क्योंकि ये जो बॉल है दिस बॉल इज गिवन एज बांसलेस ठीक है दिस इज मासलेस बॉल तो जिस तरीके से मासलेस स्ट्रिंग उस तरीके से मासलेस बॉल सो मासलेस अगर है तो इस पर नेट फोर्स यहाँ पर जीरो होना चाहिए तो नेट फोर्स ऑन दिस बॉल सब भी जीरो तो मैं यहाँ पर ये अप्रोक्सीमेटली लिख सकता हूँ कि जो क्यू ई है और जो बीटा वी है वो किसी टाइम पे यहाँ पर इक्वल होंगे तो दिस क्यू इज इक्वल टू बीटा वी और जो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड यहाँ पे वी बाई डी हो जाएगा तो दिस वी इज यूज फॉर पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्लेट्स और ये बीटा इन टू दिस वी विच इज इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलॉसिटी अब इसके बाद में यहाँ पे जो चार्ज लीक हो रहा है इससे रिलेटेड यहाँ पर हम कुछ इक्वेशंस लिखने की कोशिश करते हैं चार्ज को रिलेट करने की कोशिश करते हैं टाइम के साथ में ठीक है तो यहाँ पे जो भी चार्ज है सपोज किसी टाइम पे इसका चार्ज है लेट्स से दिस चार्ज इज स्मॉल क्यू और इसकी जो विस्निटी है इसकी जो विस्निटी है जैसे चार्ज है तो इसके आस पास पर ये एक बाउंड्री टाइप की बन रही होगी ऑफ दिस विस्कस लिक्विड और डायलेक्ट्रिक लिक्विड और ये जो बाउंड्री है इनर जो बाउंड्री यहाँ पर इस इनर बाउंड्री पे देर विल बी सम इंड्यूस चार्ज ड्यू टू दिस पॉइंट चार्ज ड्यू टू दिस कंडक्टिंग बॉल सो इसके जो अंदर वाले सरफेस है इस इनर सरफेस तो ऑन दिस इनर सरफेस द इंड्यूस चार्ज विल बी माइनस क्यू इंटू वन माइनस वन बाई के वेर के इज द डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट हियर ओके सो दिस इज द इंड्यूस चार्ज और जो काउंटर पार्ट होगा इसका जो पॉजिटिव चार्ज होगा वो इस वॉल्यूम के अंदर ना होकर के जो भी डायलेक्ट्रिक है डायलेक्ट्रिक के सरफेस पे रहेगा तो डायलेक्ट्रिक का जो वॉल्यूम है इस वॉल्यूम के अंदर देर इज नो इंड्यूस चार्ज ठीक है वॉल्यूम के अंदर देर इज नो इंड्यूस चार्ज बिकॉज दिस इज आई एम टेकिंग दिस डायलेक्ट्रिक एज दिस इज आइसोट्रॉपिक द स्टैंडर्ड डायलेक्ट्रिक जो यूजली वी टेक आइसोट्रॉपिक होमोजीनियस एंड लीनियर डायलेक्ट्रिक ओके so i am taking this as a standard dielectric that we usually use in our problems so in this kind of dielectric there is no volume charge or there is no bound charge density in volume okay so there will be only surface charge density and on this surface of dielectric 
inner surface this is the charge induced and uh, the other charge will be at the surface and uh, we don't have to worry about where this uh, where that charge is okay and now i am going to take a very small i am going to take a very small gaussian surface around it okay so suppose this is the gaussian surface around it and what is the total charge inside total charge inside will be the sum of this charge and this charge okay so what is the total charge inside this gaussian surface so total charge q in this will be equal to so this q and minus q will be cancelled it will be q by k so it is q by k this is the total charge and uh, the flux flux will be due to its uh, on electric field only okay flux will be due to its on electric field only because the electric field due to the charge on these plates will be v by d which is uniform so due to this uniform electric field there is no flux through this gaussian surface so flux is only due to its on electric field which is something like this so this is the electric field direction which is radial and charge is also leaking in this radial direction and leakage charge can be considered as a leakage current okay so let us apply the gauss law here so gauss law is e dot da q in is q by k epsilon not so this is the expression of gauss law and uh, for e electric field i can relate this electric field to charge leakage charge and leakage current so j current density j is equal to sigma into a and i can write it e divided by rho uh, this e is uh, due to this this uh, don't confuse this e with uh, this e both are different okay so j is equal to this e by rho and uh, i can replace e by j rho j is also vector quantity so j da this will be rho okay q divided by k epsilon naught and what is this integral j dot d j dot d integral will be the total leakage charge or total leakage current from here okay so it is total leakage current so that will be i okay so rho into i q by k epsilon naught and i i can write minus d q by dt i is minus of dq by dt because q is decreasing with time so it is q by k epsilon naught now i am what i am going to do here is uh, uh, i am replacing this q from here okay so from this i can find this q in terms of instantaneous velocity so from that equation rho that is minus dq by dt minus i have adjusted and q can be written as this is k epsilon naught and q can be written as from here q is this beta v d divided by this uh, potential difference v okay and v is some kind of instantaneous velocity and uh, uh, i can write it as some dx upon dt so it is beta d k epsilon not v and it is some dx upon dt so dt can be cancelled from both the sides and this is rho uh, i am taking rho on that side it is minus dq this is beta d rho k epsilon not this is v potential difference this is dx let us integrate on both the sides so dq so obviously the charge uh, you can see how charge and velocities are related this is charge and this is velocity when charge will become zero when completely charge will leak off then velocity will also be zero so from this relation we can say when charge tends to zero then velocity also tends to zero and particle stops so what limit i have to put here charge becomes zero okay so for charge becomes zero so it will be the maximum distance so maximum of this will be it is simply q not okay maximum this will be simply q not this is the change in charge or you can write q not to zero so it will give you q not and it is beta d rho k epsilon not v and dx is simply that uh, distance traveled or maximum distance traveled okay so maximum distance traveled is q not rho k epsilon not v divided by beta d 
So this is the final answer for distance.